Hello, I'm Debbie Maddie from Teori Designs by Debbie Maddie, and I'm going to do a little demo on using stencils to mark shibori pleated fabric. And today we're going to talk about one kind of uh, shibori stitching. There, as you know, there's many, many, many kinds of stitching and clamping and all different ways to do uh, shibori designs on fabric. But one way that you can do some designs that are really unique and fun to play with, you start out by pleating your fabric up. And there's, there's different ways to pleat the fabric. But this is this is one way, and this fabric was actually started out as little tiny pleats, and you can see this was the size of the tiny little pleat that I had this fabric all pleated up to be that size before I did any stitching or wrapping. Now, the way that I did this was to mark dots on my fabric and then stitch through the dots. This particular design, I stitched just a total running stitch in and out, in and out, all the way across. But the, the main hardest part of doing this design is marking all of these dots. You can do it by measuring. You can use a tape measure and you can go every you know little bit and mark it. Or <clears throat> you can mark your dots on a piece of paper as a template and put your fabric on top of that template and then mark your dots. But that's, that's what I did on this piece, and you can see where I got off a little bit. And I will tell you now that um, the easiest way that I have found to do this is using stencils where... The design is the dots are cut through the stencil and then I can just come through and mark my dots. The fabric that I am using to do most of my work now um, is 13 inches wide. It has selvage on both sides and you can buy it by the meter, I mean by the yard um, in any increments that you want. Um, I like this fabric. It's like I say, it's a hundred percent cotton. It is cotton kimono fabric that I import from Japan. And I like it for these pleated designs that I do because of the width of the fabric. Because when you pleat all this up on some of the designs, you're going to pleat and, you know, have your nice crisp pleats, and then you're going to stitch through all those layers of the fabric. And when you have really wide fabric, you have a lot of layers to stitch through. So, you can do this same technique I'm going to show you with any width of fabric or any uh, prepared for dyeing type fabric, and I have lots of those different fabrics on my website, but this is the main one I use when I'm going to do intricate designs with the, um, the dots and the stitching to do the pleating. And so I've cut just a small piece of the fabric. And this is the design that I'm going to use for the tiny little pleats like I had. And it's called stencil number one in my website. And the dots are very close together. I hope you can see those dots. I take my fabric, and like I say, normally I would have a long piece of fabric, but I'm just using this short piece to give you an idea of how I do it. Now, I press my fabric, and I get it as smooth and flat as I can, and then I do take a little bit of painter's tape. <clears throat> it is allergy time in Texas, so... Sound a little gravelly today. There, I've got my fabric where it's pretty stable. And then I'm going to lay my template on top of this fabric. Now, ideally, when you're doing pleats and you want everything to be even, you would find the center of your fabric and you would find the center point of your template 
and you put your template on top of that fabric. Um, another way you can do it is to move the um, stencil over where you're just inside, the dots are just inside the selvage. So today I'm just going to put it in the middle and then I also use a piece of painter's tape to tape down the stencil so it doesn't move. Now, the pen that I'm going to use is a fine point water soluble pen. Now, you want to be sure whatever you're using to mark through these stencils to make your dots on the fabric, make sure that it is water soluble. You don't want to use anything that's permanent and you don't want to use anything that is air erasable. It's really sad to mark it with a pen that we erases with the air and you don't get your stitching done before it starts to disappear. Now, this water soluble ink, you just, when you put your fabric in to pre soak it before you're dying, the, the cold water will make this ink disappear. This particular one is a Mark Be Gone, um, and it only has the water soluble. So, um, now when you start to mark, you want to, and I'm going to put this one just so you can see what can happen. You just want to mark your little dot like this, fast. If you hold your pen on there, you end up with a really large dot, which you can still work around that, but it's easier if you just start and just dot. Tap, 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 tap. Now, when you get that whole row, the next row all the way down, if you want to, you can move it over and go to the edges. But the main thing is you're going to be continuing on down your larger area of fabric. And so I'm going to show you how you do that. You would mark all the way across. And you can see I'm just touching. It is so much easier to do this than to try to be looking through the fabric, using a light box, doing all that so you can trace dots. Okay, so I've got the, that row of dots. I would have all of these dots on there. Then I pick up my stencil and I move it down to where I can put my dots on top of the previous dots and then I continue marking all the way down, however long, you, you know, you could do three yards, four yards, whatever, but you just keep lining up the previous row of dots and marking all the way down. Once you have this marked, then you're going to stitch. Now, on this particular stencil, I stitched just a running stitch. I went down, up, down, up, all the way across. And then when you pull it up, you can see you sit there and you, you get it pulled up, and then when you pull it like this, you end up with tiny little pleats. Now, on this piece, I did those tiny pleats. I had this all pulled, all the stitching pulled up until it was only about this wide. Then I put it on a rope and wrapped it on the rope, and that's how I ended up with all of these um, beautiful designs. Now, everything that I've shown you today, um, the stencils, the fabric, the pens, I do have on my website. So please visit there and um, check to see what I have. Thank you.